Hey. Hey. How you guys doing today? How y'all doing? So, we're here at day five. And man, let me just say thank you. Thank, thank you, you to all you guys for watching, for commenting, for texting, everything that you guys do, joining the entire 21 day movement. I'm so excited about you guys. You guys are such a blessing. We really, really, we really appreciate you guys. Um, and we just finished the uh, series. Well, we finished the Labor of Love, but now we're in the Life Series. But we just finished doing Joseph. Right. And Joseph had a lot of stuff in there. Integrity. Integrity. Uh, rejection. Uh, loneliness. Um, all those things were in there. And so... Um, now we're going to move on and, and, and what we really want you to do is we want you to see yourself in these scriptures. And so we're going to go to 2 Samuel chapter 13 and I just want to help you see into the scripture and see yourself in this scripture. So 2 Samuel chapter 13, you'll find these words. And we're reading from the Holman Christian Standard Version, verse 1. <clears throat> Some time passed. David's son Absalom had a beautiful sister named Tamar, and David's son Amnon was infatuated with her. Amnon was frustrated to the point of making himself sick over his sister Tamar because she was a virgin, but it seemed impossible to do anything to her. Amnon had a friend named Jonadab, a son of David's brother Shimea. Jonadab was a very shrewd man, and he asked Amnon, Why are you, the king's son, so miserable every morning? Won't you tell me? Amnon replied, I'm in love with Tamar, my brother Absalom's sister. Jonadab said to him, Lie down on your bed and pretend you're sick. When your father comes to see you, say to him, Please let my sister Tamar come and give me something to eat. Let her prepare food in my presence. So I can watch and eat from her hand. Wow. So the first thing that I really want you to see in here is the lust. You see, when we look at the scriptures, we see that there were two interesting things that were said. One thing says that he was infatuated with his sister. That's what scripture says. But notice from his own mouth when his friend asked him what's wrong. He says, I'm in love with her. Mm -hmm. So often we confuse love with lust. Right. We say that we love, we're in love with someone, but really what we are is in lusting. We're lusting after that person because they have some phys physical attributes that we like. They have something about them that attracts us to them physically. And so we start lusting after them. Or even... It doesn't always have to be physical, but sometimes you can lust after a person because you like how they are spiritually. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, they're so spiritually this and that, and I want them. I have to have them. But that's not it either. So I want to deal with this issue of lust. Kristen, what, what do you have to say about this whole issue of lust? Well, oftentimes, lust is associated with our uh, fleshly desires and our, our sexual desires. But you can lust over different things. You, you can lust over money. You can lust over food. You can lust over material things. Um, and whatever you, you feed your spirit or whatever you feed your flesh, that's what you're going to get out. Whatever you put exactly. in is going to come out. Exactly. So if you feed your flesh, you know, um, you're going to you're gonna do fleshly things. And if you feed your spirit with the word or with prayer, prayer then your spirit is going to win. So whichever one you feed is going to win, essentially. And what Amnon was doing, he was, he was making himself sick over his sister. He was thinking about her constantly, day in and day out, until... He allowed a, another person to come in. He feed him with those same fleshly desires to come up with a scheme or a plan to, um, you know, lie in bed with her. And many times, especially as women, as females, we often deal with uh, people that lust over us. You, when you walk by a group of guys, you can feel the eyes on you, and they make lustful comments. You know, because people are really bold nowadays. Yes. And yeah. they undress you with your eyes. And nowadays, it doesn't matter if you have tight-fitting clothes on or not. 
but people are so full of um this lustful spirit this spirit of amnon and it takes control of them and they pursue it and the thought isn't the problem it's the pursuit of that thought that's the problem hmm. so then Kristen, if the pursuit of that thought is the problem how do i check how do i check my thoughts so that I don't pursue that thought. That's good. I'm glad you brought that up because when in times of um, you have everybody, everybody has a uh, temptation and lustful moments. Yes. And we have times where um, our flesh uh, seems to want to take the best and we may have been feeding our flesh with the wrong type of music, the wrong type of movies, the wrong type of people. And you, you may be alone and you're, you're thinking the wrong things. What you should do in that moment is stop everything you're doing and pray. Get on your knees and pray. I'm telling you from experience, it helps. It will deliver you. It will change you. If you just stop whatever you're doing and just pray and let the Lord move through you. Let the Lord take that, um, that thought out of your mind because he said, if you submit yourself unto him and resist the devil, the devil will flee from you. Exactly. But it's the submitting to God. That's the hardest part to do. Exactly. And you see, that is so key because you see, um, once you submit yourself to God, then, you know, uh, where he is, all that stuff can no longer be. Right. And so what you have to do, it is imperative. It is key in your moments of weakness. It says, when I am weak, he is strong. So just turn to God and just begin to pray, begin to seek his face. Uh, he says that, you know, those who uh, seek my face, he said, you know, or who humble themselves and seek my right. face, he'll hear them from heaven and he'll heal their land. So I encourage you to seek God in your moments of lust right. because there is no temptation to which he will not provide a way of escape. Right. We love you so much. We thank you for tuning in. Let us pray for you. Father, we thank you, Lord. For, for today, Lord. We thank you for day five. Lord, we thank you, God, that you're showing us how to check our lust. You're showing us where we are, Father. God, we ask that you just forgive us, Lord. We repent of every thought and every lustful deed that we've ever done in your sight, Father. God, and we ask now that you just remove and loose that spirit of Amnon off of anyone that's watching, God. Loose it off of our lives, Father. I know it's someone that's watching, Father, that has has had issues with this lust, God, and they're wondering how how when is it going to end? How am I going to overcome this? I'm tired of being like this. I'm tired of letting this person come in and this person come in and never really filling that hole and that gap that's in my heart and my spirit. Lord God, we ask that you come in, Lord, and fill that hole, fill that gap in their heart, Lord, with your healing power, with your spirit, with your anointing, Lord. And God, we claim the victory, Father. Yes, God. God, we know it's in Jesus' name that we're Jesus more than conquerors yes, and we have God. overcome. God, we thank you and we praise thank you, you that the spirit of lust has been loosed off of our lives. And we will know how to reject it mm. and receive you with power. Yeah. It's in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, this has been day five. Come back tomorrow for day Please six. Please come back. Because we're going deeper. Much deeper. We love you.